dance talking about Leonardo in her incredible world. This is a story of her creations, of her unrequited love with Michelangelo, the greatest pop star of his day, of how everyone in Florence wanted something of her because she was more brilliant than Leonardo, the same way that the sun shines more than a firefly. She was the most intelligent people ever, maybe in the universe. So this is a story of about how she created things, how she wanted to be loved by her father, who never even knew she existed. Well, there's a lot of drama, a lot of humor. I think the strength of the concept is very high on the visual impact of her creations. That's about it. It's a story about how the world could have been a very much better place than it is, but it isn't. And we gotta read the story so we can know why. Well, it was, in my concept, inventors, artists, creators were like rock stars in that day. Okay, they went to conventions, they saw their ideas, and she was like the star. I mean, everyone wanted her to invent something for them. For, for, for yes, yeah, yeah, for battle purposes, for some architectural stuff, some... What? Who's she fighting? There's, I forgot that part. There was the the mad monk Sabonarola. There were there there were all historical characters. He was a man that made a coup d'état in Florence. He took hold of the city and wanted to conquer all of it, Italy and maybe the world. So he wanted her to work for him. Okay. Thank you.